All right, here we go. So the very first one that I've got for you tonight is one called ubrand.com. I'd like to take credit for this one here, but I cannot. This is one that Jenny, my partner, was using. And all, all I could hear her saying beside me as she was working on her desk is, how awesome this was. So of course, I just had to check it out. So if you've got a, a course, a program, a business uh, that you want to create a brand for, uh, this is a tool to really help you do it quite uh, quickly. So uh, there's a button in the middle, you do have to sign up for it. It is a free, it's free to sign up. And I uh, click this uh, create uh, brand button, and you get two options. One is to upload a logo. So if you've already got a logo, then you can upload it or you can make a logo. So we'll just uh, click on that and we'll go and make a logo. Uh, and uh, there's a few prompts there that it takes you through. So logo name, so let's call it uh, Story Sells. Whoops, let's try and spell this properly. Story Sells Co. And the slogan is Crafting Better experiences there you go just making that up on the fly hit the continue and then you you can uh, choose a color style so i'm going to go for contrast because that's pretty vibrant but continue what sort of fonts do you like now you can skip these or continue with them so let's go with a uh, playful one and then go and click generate so in less than a minute, this will give you a heap of options for logos. Uh, and that's just where it starts. So all of these logos that it generates, they are editable as well. So you can go in and edit the colors, the styles, the fonts, uh, sort of everything that's in it. And you can see there's lots and lots of uh, different ones coming up. Some are good, some are not so not, not so good. So, uh, you know, it really just uh, depends on your style. I've got to see more logos. Uh, it will just keep loading more and more of those in the background for you. But once you see one that is you sort of like, then uh, you can go and select it by, let's find one here. Let's try, uh, what have we got? Oh, let's go for this one here. So just click on it and um, then uh, that will give you uh, all these uh, options of uh, what these logos look like on various places, even a building. Um, so let's get out of that and then you can go edit. If you click edit, so if you click on each of the sections, uh, you know, you, you can uh, start to uh, craft it how you'd like to uh, craft it. Uh, there's the uh, colors coming up. You can come through and uh, change the colors to uh, what you want. And uh, once you've done that, uh, then you can go and click uh, save and and that'll save it to your dashboard. Now, these ones here, they're not free. You do have to buy it. So if you do like what you've got there, then you can buy these. For, they've got three pricing plans here, $29, $59.99. They are in US dollars. But uh, compared to some of the uh, logo and branding sites, the, oh, there we go. Click the uh, X button. They'll give you another 20% off as well too. Um, but compared to some of the other logo sites, uh, this is a fairly uh, you know, inexpensive site in comparison as well, too. So, so that's where you create your, your logos. And the other thing it will do is it will help you to craft up your brand kit as well, too. So you can, you, you can either upload your logo or make a logo. There are other options in there. I won't just upload this at the moment because it'll use up all my internet. Other options in there to help you create a uh, brand guide or a brand kit in there. So you can see I've uh, got one in there already. So I uploaded my logo and inside here, they've got a whole lot of uh, different options to explore and uh, you can create a full brand palette. Uh, and it'll even do things like your social media posts, all on brand, all on colors as well too. So there's a heap um, have a look at, but uh, as I say, Jenny was just looking at it and uh, she uh, created a whole brand kit for a uh, particular product that she's uh, launching for herself as well too. So uh, there you go, there's a style guide that it gives you. These are the sorts of things that you give your uh, marketer, your web designer to help them to uh, stay on brand with uh, you know what you're uh, developing. So uh, yeah, super good site. And that one there is called ubrand.com. All right, next one I have for you is uh, a, an automation tool. So this one connects 
various different apps with each other that don't have a natural connection with each other and does it all without code. So now I did have a log into this. I'll just show you how it works. So if you've got things like, let's say, Google G Suite or Google Drive, you might have a CRM, you might have a website. Uh, and let's say you've got a, a website, you want to get uh, you know people that uh, subscribe into your CRM or into some Google Sheets, then this app will connect all of those uh, properties for you. Uh, it'll connect up things like your accounting software. If you use uh, apps like uh, Airtable or let's say Facebook lead ads, uh, and you want to get the leads off Facebook and into your uh, spreadsheet, or into your CRM, then uh, this app uh, will connect all of those things together. Now I've got something like 1600 different apps that it uh, connects uh, together. Uh, so, so all you do is you select the trigger. So in this case, let's say, uh, what have we got? Oh, let's go Google Sheets. Webhooks is the capture all. So webhooks, if you can't find an app in here that's gonna, that is the one that you're using, a webhook will usually do it. I've got a walkthrough on how to uh, add the work to the particular application. So let's say uh, Gmail, let's, let's start with Gmail, for instance. And let's say when uh, Gmail emails arrive, that we want to get a message through to Slack. So what it, what it will do, first time you use it, it will want you to connect up the various uh, applications. And then you can create the uh, workflows and uh, you can get it to do things. So if it sends it to Slack, for instance, you might... Uh, so if you're not familiar with Slack, it's a uh, productivity app, a, a chat app, and uh, you might want to uh, just trigger it. So any uh, emails with a particular subject line in it or from a particular email account, maybe you want those to go into Slack for uh, action to happen. So uh, so with this here, this is now making those uh, connections there, and it will then go and uh, create that connection. Now, They've got a guide down the side here. If you're not quite sure what to do or how to work with this app, there's a guided uh, tool with it as well, uh, and it will tell you what to do. So first thing it's telling us to do is to connect up Gmail, which I won't do just now. Uh, once we've connected Gmail, it'll then ask us to then go and connect up Slack, bring those two apps together, and then it, you can get it to send those emails across or the notifications across that platform. So that's one simple example. There are lots and lots and lots of examples and ways that you can use this. And they've got this thing called a scenario builder. If you use that, this will give you a kickstart in terms of what you want to do. So you just describe what it is you want to do, and it will help guide you through the process. So if you've used something like Zapier before, this is very similar to, to Zapier, but it is a lot more cost effective than Zapier. And it's very simple like, interface to use as well, too. So that one there is called make.com. All right, for the, those of you that are non-techie, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or let's say non-coders, uh, this site here, in fact, this was one that I used just this week. Someone was asking, how do I create an email signature so that it goes in the emails in my CRM? And so, of course, uh, their particular CRM, they needed to have the signature as a HTML file. So they weren't HTML techie. This tool here helps to convert it all to HTML. So there's a couple of things that you can do with it. One is if you've got existing code, you can paste it in here. It'll clean it up. So it's got the minimum amount of code needed for it to run. Or you can create something, uh, something from scratch here. So let's say it is an email signature. So warm regards. Uh, and uh, let's say you want your... Uh, Phone, so phone number on it. And let's say you want your email address on it. And you can do things like import an image into it. So let's say you need to have your logo in there as well. Then you can go and import in an image into here. I won't do it just now because it will take up uh, too much uh, bandwidth and time. And you can see on the left hand, uh, on the right hand side, this is the HTML code that is being generated, which makes it look like this in, in your CRM or on your website for that matter. So yeah, and you can put in things like your social media, all sorts of things. So so the left hand side is just like creating, say, a Word document or a Google document right-hand side is turned it into HTML code. And then all you do is click that copy button on that top right. And then you can go and paste that. 
into your CRM or the application or your website, whatever you're, you're trying to do. So you can use it for web code. You can use it for CRMs. Anywhere that needs HTML code, this will do it. So, so this is just one of the tools in a range of tools in here. You'll see along the top, they've got CSS, which is cascading style sheets. That's what makes your website, gives it the colors and um, the style that it's got. And then if you scroll on down as well, there's there are a heap more tools in under there as well too. For some reason, it stopped scrolling here, so it won't actually take us through there. Let's just try again. Could, of course, be my internet, which has been running a little bit slow over the past couple of days. Been wet and rainy here. Anyway, that one there is called html-online.com. And, oh, there we go. It did start scrolling there. Have a look at that and use that. And there's a heap of tools down below as well, too, which is... It's obviously taken a while to uh, scroll through is if we get there okay here it is this one is called blogfox.ai and i i previewed one ooh, a few weeks back that uh, did something similar to this but what this does is you um grab it'll turn a youtube video into an article so so all you do is you grab your YouTube, you are way too long for that at the moment, the way the browser is going to the area here that says uh, enter the YouTube URL, click try for free. And then what it will do is it will create an article out of the uh, text in, in, uh, or out of the uh, uh, spoken voice in the video if you find that you're not uh, then uh, try recording yourself on video upload your video to uh, youtube uh, if you don't want to public you can just have it sitting there as listed and uh, and then you can uh, pop the uh, url into the into blog fox and it will then create a story a text-based story out of your uh, video so that one there, social media. So if you're looking for so, you know, social media posts, if you're a guest post for someone or a guest poster for someone, you can use it for guest posts as well too. All right. So that one there is called Blog Fox. And look at that. My browser has just frozen up tonight. And I've got one last app to get to. Wonderful. All right. I'm back. Can you hear? Just checking. You've got sound fantastic. There we go. The other computer has just decided it does not want to play ball at all. So we're just going to get rid of that. All You're right. amazing. There we go. Technology, eh? Don't you love it? <laughs> uh, huh? All right. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks for sticking with us. Um, it is just one of those nights tonight, isn't it? So uh, we've missed out on the last app and tool. I might come back to that. It is a book. Um, and I haven't got the screen up at the moment, but it, uh, you can go and find it as well. It's a book called The Go-Giver. Uh, and that's one that I've been listening to recently. Uh, so on uh, Audible. Um, and it is a book that is about the power of giving uh, as opposed to always uh, looking to sell and always looking to take. So it is a it is a good book. It's like a story or a parable. And uh, it uh, is a very easy read, but it's got some really good lessons in there about uh, the power of not uh, asking people to come and buy from you, but, uh, you know, so giving as much as you uh, possibly can. And then that giving there, that you get a whole lot more back again. All right, well, in the chat there, tell us, what was your favourite tool? Just quickly drop it into chat, just so I know uh, which was your favourite one. Please, not the one that froze our screen. <laughs> just to help us uh, let me know uh, on track with it all. All these uh, apps and tools will be up on the Smash Go, uh, sorry, the Business Owners Smash Go Online Facebook group tomorrow. Uh, if you're not a member of the, uh, the Facebook group, just search for Business Owners Smash Go Online on Facebook. 
and uh, you'll see these apps and you'll find uh, you'll see all of the past ones that we've had there as well too all right what have we got there we've got you brand blog fox make you brand so it looks like you brand is just ahead. No, look, Make is just coming as well. So it's neck and neck with that you brand and Make. 